Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you with another video for uh, Friday here. So just make sure you uh, like, subscribe, comment below. Planet 13 is one of, I'm very bullish on this company. Uh, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Make sure before I get into this, you subscribe so you can watch my weekly videos of my big four growth stocks that I update every Saturday morning. So if you're interested in that or wanna see my series, just subscribe. I'll put one out tomorrow and uh, they're doing great this year. I'm gonna to continue to buy all year and uh, hopefully you guys like that too. So make sure you subscribe to get to watch that, follow that, and uh, I'm gonna get into Planet 13 now. So Planet 13, uh, ticker is PLNHF. If you don't know what this is, it's in the MJ space. So it's it's really an up and coming say, you know, industry that I think is gonna be ridiculously big once federally legal. It's not if it's gonna happen, it's a matter of when it's gonna happen. I think with the new administration and some things they're saying and you know, really just all the news going on, I could see it being federally legal within the next, I think it's gonna surprise people. I think it's gonna be federally legal within the next year and a half. So is this a stock you hold forever? So I really wanted to make this the title because I think really, really, really good companies, you never really wanna sell. So this, this is a company that is just gonna be a beast in the future. So a couple reasons I say that is you gotta, they gotta have very good growth, which they're gonna have. They gotta have a solid management team, which they have. They, the, the whole team has decades of experience. They're very diverse. They've been in successful companies. They just know what they're doing. They, you, if you look at their projections of what they wanna do with the company, they plan on building a ton of superstores throughout the US. They want 10 to 20 stores, probably depends on how fast everything, you know, when it gets very legal, how much funding they get. Once it's very legal, you can get big bank funding. So it really depends where you're at and how long that is. So this is why it's so big, uh, 10 to 20 superstores. So I bet you it's gonna be more towards the 20 side just because this company is exceeding you know, in my opinion, from last year to this year, and the, the growth I have them priced in this year is ridiculous. So I think they're gonna exceed, you know, super fast. And then they, yeah, the management teams in the next five to 10 years, they wanna have between, you know, that many superstores. But I think it's gonna be more towards the five years and they're gonna have 20. That's just my guess based on what's going on, how good they're doing, just everything. So not only like these super, so basically what the superstores are like, they're. They're basically 50,000 uh, square feet. So they're like, if you don't know how big that really is, like picture a Costco, a Walmart, some really, 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 really big store. That's about 50,000 square feet, roughly. So, I mean, that that's massive for the space and what they offer. They're, and they're not just like, they're not just a standard like distribution. Like they make it like in a fun atmosphere. Uh, they own a bunch of, they own their own gummies, brownies, uh, a bunch of other edibles, their own MJ. So why that's so important is because not only do these superstores, they can hold a lot and they have a cool environment, but they make their own, they make their own brand. And they're, if you look at the brands, like I know one's Ha Ha Gummies, that's like a top three seller in a lot of like, you know, like that's one of their like top three sellers, right? So when it's federally legal, guess what they can do? They can distribute their product to other locations or, or you know, bring, like stores that aren't even theirs. So just think about the sales and the revenue they're going to pull in when when they can when it's federally legal when they can do that. So you know their top three brand like they they kill it with the brownies, they kill it in the MJ space. So this stock is just going to be insane in the next five ten years in my opinion. It's obviously still a baby because we're not even federally legal. They have one store now. They're making a superstore in Orange County uh, right now. It should be ready to go Q1 or Q2 of this year. So that will be two. That's, I think it's right next to Disneyland or Disney World. No, Disneyland, that's the California one. So yeah, it's right next to Disneyland. It's a great place. I think that's a really good spot to put it. And it's obviously in California, so it's uh, very blue there. So that's good. As far as if you want to invest in MJ or you have an MJ store, that's probably the place you want to put it. So I could see this company having 100% growth this year, and I think it's at least, like if this is federally legal, it's gonna like, you know, probably three to 500% growth. That's my opinion on what's gonna happen to this stock if it's federally legal, whenever that hits. So 
assuming off what you know now, assuming it's never federally black, I think it's gonna be 100%, 100% growth this year, which is so exciting. So as I said, I do own this stock. My cost base is $2.20. So that's really, it's actually a little higher. I started buying this stock probably almost like nine, 10 months ago. And it was at like $1.60, $1.80. Then I bought a lot at like $3 or $2.75. So it really drove up my cost base, but that's okay. Cause like, I really just liked what I saw. And as I saw the news, I'm like, okay, well, I like it more. I like it more. I like it more. So I'm not afraid to average cost up or average cost down. You just have to understand, do you believe in the company and what news am I reading to see this, to see this, you know, up or down movement. So it's really all you got to do. It. I mean, don't be scared to cost up or cost down. So, you know, like I say in all my videos, if I buy a position, I'll make a video saying, Hey, I bought this and this is why. And you know, you sell, buy, whatever, I'll, you know, I'll let you guys know. Current cost is right now is $7.75, so it's almost at 52 week highs. I think it broke $8 last week. It's moving down a little bit, probably just day traders, swing traders, option traders, you know, whatever. That's what they're probably doing with it. So that's why I had a little correction. People are cool with making, you know, 20, 10% on, on, you know, if you're day trading, like a 10% growth in a day is great or a week, like that's cool, but like I'm up, 200 some percent and I don't care if the stock goes back down to two I'll buy more if it goes up to 20 I'm still keeping I'm not selling it so that's the one good thing about being a long-term investor you really get the premiums of you know your stocks if you really believe in them so would I buy right now if I didn't have a position in planet 13 and wanted to build one yes I would buy right now because I think this stock will be over $10 before you know it, if there's not like some crazy market correction or super bad news, which I couldn't see any bad news coming from this company. So I would buy right now if you don't have a position. If you do have a position, you gotta kinda weigh out the pros and cons of how big it is and how big you wanna make it. If you wanna make your position bigger, is it a bad buy right now? No. Uh, would I buy right now? No, because my position is so built out. I was actually starting at $1.60, like I said, and I was actually buying up to like three or a little under three. So my cost base is 220, but I was doing that to build my position where I wanted to be, if that makes sense. So where would I buy it? If it went under 550 again, I'd be interested in buying more to average cost up again. I don't know if it will go that low with all this good news and this, uh, the Orange County Superstore coming out so soon. And you know, if something really good news happens about things being federally illegal, I don't know if that's gonna happen, to be honest. But if it does go below 550, I'm interested in buying it. If you, if you, yeah, I mean, that's really it. I mean, if you wanna write in the comments below if you have any questions about you know if you bought it or where you're at, or you wanna do this, 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 I'd be happy to give you my input on your specific example. Um, I'd be more than happy to, to, to voice my opinion to you and kind of tell you what I think you should do. So yeah, that's it, that's all I got. Just make sure you like, subscribe, uh, comment below. Like I said in the beginning of the video, tomorrow, if you're still watching this, I'm gonna do my four growth stocks that I'm adding all year. So that's kind of cool just watching the gains and what that's doing. So that's all I got, peace.